This is a story of how a young black boy abandoned in the most dangerous neighborhood in America with no formal education would do what no doctors, no scientists in the world could do. Not even with billions of dollars in budgets, the, the most cutting edge technology to go with it. I mean, David and Goliath, proportions. All while being a single father, battling a, a deadbeat baby mother, a broken system in a sick community that lost this identity centuries before he was even a twinkle in his mother's eye. What is melanin? Uh, melanin? Have you heard of melanin? Have you ever heard of melanin before? Have you ever heard of melanin before? So melanin, no, never heard of it. Have you ever heard of melanin before? No. I guess this is, this is where it starts with the, the nurse and doctor shortage in America. See, a nurse had done a triple shift at work and while driving home like any other day this day on webster avenue in the bronx on this day she fell asleep at the wheel and ran over three not one three of my daughters my daughters had minor damage however the youngest am had a broken neck a broken spine in three places a completely crushed pelvis her left leg was was crushed her left foot was crushed they said she would be lucky if she made it out of ICU but they didn't think she would make it and if she did she would never walk again. I had survived crack houses, dope dens, knife fights, shootouts, but nothing prepared me for that day. I remember right after 9-11 having a, a seizure and my heart stopped. I flatlined on that table for almost a minute, got up, healed myself, but still, nothing prepared me for that day. Or at least, at least so I thought. But over the next few months, what God and I had accomplished with Amber, it was just the beginning. This is where it all started. Right here, 158th Street in the Bronx. My father was selling heroin. My mother was smoking crack. No one could imagine I would grow to become the world's leading naturopathic doctor on type two diabetes. Truth is, neither could I. My father and his friends made millions of dollars in Harlem selling heroin, selling plants. I too was destined to make millions from plants. The only difference is that while they would become known as an American gangster, I would become known as the American healer. 